And now to a stunning criminal case. Seven CHP officers have been charged with involuntary manslaughter after a man died in their custody. Uh, there is video of the arrest, and tonight we had a police use of force expert review that video. KCAL News reporter Lori Perez live in Altadena now from the CHP maintenance yard where the incident happened. She's got the video and the expert's analysis. Lori. Pat, it was three years ago this week when 38-year-old Edward Braunstein was taken into custody and brought to this station behind me. Now, tonight, those officers and nurse, if convicted, are facing four years in prison for what the DA says happened here. He says, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Two months before George Floyd, Edward Bronstein repeated for almost a minute the phrase forever connected now to claims of excessive use of force. This video from March of 2020 shows the last moments of Bronstein's life in a CHP maintenance yard in Altadena as a group of officers pile on him, kneeling on his back and body so a nurse can draw blood after he'd been stopped for an alleged DUI. Tim Williams is a retired LAPD senior detective supervisor, now an author and expert on police procedure and use of force. Well, what you're seeing is a, is a prime example of what asphyxiation looks like. He reviewed the video for us. You have about two, four, six, eight, about a thousand pounds on him. But when you have all the weight on a person that um, they're not struggling or fighting you, they're struggling to breathe. Fighting and begging for three minutes until he stops and becomes silent and unresponsive. They treated him like an animal. Bronstein's father, Edward Tapia, stood with L.A. County D.A. George Gascon as he announced involuntary manslaughter charges against the sergeant recording the video, those six CHP officers, and the nurse. Police accountability is essential to public safety. The coroner listed the cause of death as acute methamphetamine intoxication during restraint by law enforcement. But the family's attorneys say their experts disagree. We wouldn't be, be here right now if this is a methamphetamine toxicity case, right? They wouldn't file charges. And he confirmed emphatically that his death was due to restraint asphyxia, a lack of oxygen to the brain. Williams says what's striking in the video is officers and the nurse start checking for a pulse and breathing at about four minutes, but... Time is ticking. Time is ticking. CPR doesn't start for 10 minutes later. The officers have been placed on administrative leave, and CHP says since the incident, they've updated agency policies to prevent officers from using techniques or transport methods that involve a substantial risk of positional asphyxia and conducted training for all uniformed employees to help them recognize individuals experiencing medical distress. Now, the CHP commissioner released a statement today expressing his condolences and saying they treat any death in custody with the utmost seriousness. We are live in Altadena tonight. I'm Lori Perez. KCAL News, back to you. All right, Lori, thank you.